You know, I might have been the only person walking out of the Eugene O'Neill Theater on Saturday night saying, don't get me wrong, Book of Mormon was hilarious, but I wish it had been a little less pro-religion. Lucinda and I finally got around to seeing the Broadway sensation this past weekend, and yes, it's every bit as good as everybody says it is. The dialogue's hilarious, the songs are phenomenal, the dance numbers are spectacular, the story's solid, and they essentially spend two hours mercilessly lampooning one of the most ridiculous cults America has yet to produce. And still, I'm going to bitch at the show for being too damn nice to religion. Now, I'm not going to fault Matt and Trey. They had a message they wanted to send, and they expressed it brilliantly. I just profoundly disagree with the message. Like most pop refutations of religiosity, they toss religion a huge bone at the end of this thing. After spending 90 minutes learning how insane a person would have to be to take Mormon dogma seriously, we learn that it's okay to believe patently absurd things as long as they inspire us to do good and work together. Ultimately, that's the moral of the story. It reminds me of another one of my favorite comedic excoriations of religion, Kevin Smith's 99 dick and fart joke classic, Dogma. We spend the whole movie lambasting in Catholic mythology, but Chris Rock's character encapsulates the same ridiculous cop-out about halfway through the film when he says, It's not important what you have faith in, just that you have faith. Now, when you break it down like that, it's pretty clear that we're dealing with batshit lunacy. This statement could be used to justify any psychotic delusion you could imagine, and yet it's presented within the movie as the soft-peddling endorsement of religion. In Book of Mormon, the main character overcomes his crisis of faith by realizing that it doesn't matter if the stories are bullshit as long as they help people to live a better life. Now, I don't know if Trey Parker and Matt Stone or, or even Kevin Smith actually believe any of that. I suppose it's possible that they're just trying to make their story a little bit more palatable to a majority religious audience. It might be that a hard atheist message is tantamount to killing the dog in American entertainment. After all, if you had 80% of your audience walking out knowing that they were the ones that you were making fun of the whole time, that might not be good. But ultimately, it's a profoundly stupid concept. It's like saying, I'd love the forest if it wasn't for all the damn trees. It's like saying the gun has nothing to do with the bullet. Sure, the specific tenets of any religion are stupid. I think even religious people would admit that at this point. But they cling to this misguided notion that it doesn't matter because the results are positive. Sure, they're not universally positive, but their religion is positive right now in their lives, so how could that be a bad thing? Of course, our cream of the crop atheist listeners already know the answer to this question, but I'm going to spell it out anyway. Thinking is important. Thinking isn't as easy as some people seem to think it is. The, the very fact that we use the term common sense as anything but an example of an oxymoron is plenty of proof of that. Critically examining a question isn't something that comes to us innately. You have to learn how to do it. And, of course, a religious worldview stands in the way of all of that. It's not enough to have the right answer if you got there the wrong way. If you think that the only reason is it isn't okay to murder people and take their shit is because God says so, you're a dangerous motherfucker. To use an example from the Book of Mormon, if you think the only reason not to fuck a baby is because Joseph Smith might turn you into a lesbian, that's not enough. The problem isn't this silly belief or that one, it's the method that you use to get there. You can believe any insane detrimental shit you want, but if you used reason to get there, I can reason you back out. I can show you where you fucked up your chain of logic, but there's no way to faith you back from the ledge. Religion forces you to relinquish critical thought. It can't be arrived at through empirical means, and it can't stand up to logical evaluation, so it kind of has to. That's a prerequisite to faith. Hell, that's the definition of faith. It's a damn shame that this doesn't go without saying, but anything that forces us to stop using our brains is a bad thing, but especially when that thing that's asking us to not use our brains is trying to tell us right from wrong.